Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Astrology News Report, presenting an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic Astrology. I'm Ron Berger, today is February 25th, 2024. In this report, we'll take a look at what's coming up in the Zodiac for March 2024. But before we begin, an important announcement. The weekly videos on this channel are available to people who donate to the channel. You are watching the once a month free public video. If you would like to have access to the upcoming month's weekly reports, stick around for the link at the end of this video to make your donation. Thanks. The planetary pattern in the sidereal zodiac will go through a number of changes during March. The first notable shift comes on March 6th, or March 7th, if you are in Europe or Asia. Venus and Mercury will change signs, nearly simultaneously. Mercury moves from Aquarius into sidereal Pisces. Venus moves from Capricorn into sidereal Aquarius. First, Mercury. Mercury is considered debilitated in other words, weakened, in Pisces. And that's because Mercury is the planet of the intellect, the planet of rational thinking. And Pisces is one of the water signs, based in the emotions. So, the planet of rational decisions in the sign of idealism and sentimentality, not exactly a great fit. Pisces is especially noted for hope and faith, in other words, non-rational functions. So, Mercury is debilitated in this sign. But this transit can be good for intuitive thinking. In other words, leaping over the linear thinking process to arrive at knowing by osmosis. Still, having the planet of facts and information in the sign of faith isn't going to be the best for accurate news during March. The situation with Mercury will be made much worse by Mercury's conjunction with Neptune, which begins immediately when Mercury enters Pisces. Neptune is Mercury's polar opposite. It's the planet of dreams, the planet of illusions, delusion, confusion. The planet of rational thinking, combined with the planet of fan fantasy, makes for unrealistic thinking and being distracted by illusions, such as fake news. This malfunctioning Mercury pattern will continue for several days in early March until it gets some distance away from Neptune. Venus leaves Capricorn and heads into sidereal Aquarius on March 7th. This puts the planet of relationship, values, agreement, finance, guidance, and so forth in the sign of the social humanitarian, the sign of progressive thinking, which may be a good thing for making progress in coming to agreement on some of the problems that have been facing the world lately. Venus is the planet of sociability. Aquarius likes group activities. But as Venus advances in Aquarius, it gets closer and closer to Saturn. The exact conjunction is on March 21st. The planet of relationship, finances, compromise, and agreement has to combine with the planet of delay, obligations, rules and restrictions, and harsh realities. At its worst, Venus with Saturn delays the agreement or makes it subject to some kind of restriction. At its best, this pattern can result in a realistic agreement, in other words, a necessary compromise. Venus goes past Saturn in the last week of March and will escape from the influence of Saturn when it changes signs at the end of the month. In the middle of March, Mars changes signs, leaving Capricorn and entering sidereal Aquarius. The planet of action and results will be in the sign of social reform for the next six weeks. So this sounds good for social reform, except 
Remember that the energy pattern is available to everyone, and there are lots of versions of societal reform out there, with many that don't agree with each other. And Mars, after all, is the planet of controversy and combat. As Mars continues its journey through Aquarius, it will encounter the same problem that Venus before it ran into, conjunction with Saturn. Although the exact conjunction doesn't happen until April 10th, the two planets will be close enough by the end of March for the energy pattern to be causing effects. The planet of action and aggression and the planet of restriction and delay don't like each other. In Vedic astrology, these two are considered enemies to each other. This combination produces a lot of tension and stress. But it can be useful for some things. Saturn's restrictive energy helps to focus and control the Mars energy, which can make for a more penetrating effect, concentrated efforts, and thereby produce results. But since this is the conjunction of two naturally malefic planets, in other words, capable of doing harm, mostly the outcomes will be of the undesirable type. And some people, such as those with Leo rising charts like Donald Trump, will be strongly affected. Once Mars changes signs in mid-March, we will have an interesting situation develop. All of the primary planets crowded into three signs, Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. All planets in one segment of the zodiac creates a concentration of planetary energy, and this manifests as imbalance. When there's an imbalance in the zodiac, there's more potential for extreme events. This situation continues until Jupiter changes signs at the beginning of May. The planetary pattern is still happening when the total solar eclipse of April 8th takes place. A total solar eclipse is another signifier for extreme events. Simultaneously, there will be other intense combinations in the zodiac. So, the pattern coming up for April starts to look pretty concerning. More about that in an upcoming report. Okay, there's a brief look at planetary patterns for March 2024. And here's a description of what's coming up in next month's weekly videos. March 3rd, an analysis of Mercury and Venus changing signs, both of them on March 6th. March 10th, current transits and their effects on world events. March 17th, Mars transiting in Aquarius and the effects for each sign. March 24th, a preview of planetary patterns for April 2024. March 31st, no report because I'll be away on a meditation retreat. You'll not want to miss out on any of these great upcoming videos, so if you'd like to have access to March's weekly reports, Donate $20 by clicking on or touching the donation card you see at the end of this video, which will take you to the donation page. And if $20 for a month is too much for you, you can donate $10. The link to each week's report will be sent to you via your email. Here's the connection. Just click or touch the card, which will take you to the donation page. And if the card does not appear or doesn't work, you can find the link in the comments section below. Thank you, and until next week.